In a world where scientific advancements unveil new species regularly, the sad truth is that numerous animals are slipping into extinction. Despite our strides in research and conservation, human actions remain a significant driver of this loss. In this captivating video, we'll explore the stories of remarkable animals that have recently vanished from our planet. From remarkable Barbary lions to delicate passenger pigeons, join us as we unveil 15 recent photos of newly extinct animals. Number 15, Bai Ji, the wild Chinese river dolphin. More than two decades have passed since the enigmatic Chinese river dolphin, the Bai Ji, was last spotted in its natural habitat. This remarkable species, believed to be the sole recent extinction in Chinese history, was exclusively confined to the Yangtze River. The name Baiji, translating to white dolphin, perfectly encapsulates their appearance. Sporting long, slender beaks, a distinctive body structure and enhanced acoustic capabilities compensating for their limited vision, the Baiji shared some similarities with other river dolphins. Adapting seamlessly to the muddy waters of the Yangtze River, one would assume they had the perfect conditions for survival. Unfortunately, as we now know, that wasn't the case. The Baiji's extinction made headlines in 2006, placing the blame squarely on human activities for the demise of these unique creatures. Despite decades of researchers foreseeing the catastrophe, no official confirmation of the Baiji's extinction remains. However, they are widely regarded as exceptionally rare and endangered, with human impact significantly contributing. Overfishing emerged as a major threat to the Baiji's survival, not only robbing them of their prey, but also ensnaring them in fishermen's gear, leading to tragic drownings. The bustling maritime traffic on the Yangtze River, a vital commercial route in China, exacerbated the situation. Noise pollution and an increasing number of ships raised the risk of collisions with dolphins possessing limited vision, a perilous scenario heightened by ship propellers. Factor in a myriad of pollutants, and the stage was set for a classic case of extinction. Wild Baiji has not received an official declaration of extinction, despite these grim circumstances. A glimmer of hope surfaced in 2007, when a resident captured footage of a sizable white creature swimming in the Yangtze River, provisionally identified as a Baiji. However, celebrations were premature, as the dwindling population, particularly the older individuals, couldn't stave off the impending extinction. The story of the Baiji is a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between human activities and the survival of Earth's diverse species. Number 14, Tasmanian Tiger. Known colloquially as the thylacine, the Tasmanian tiger emerges as a fascinating and sizable marsupial predator, defying expectations by resembling a wild dog rather than its namesake, the tiger. Its distinctive appearance earned it the moniker Tasmanian Tiger, owing to its short yellowish-brown fur adorned with 15 to 20 conspicuous dark brown stripes along its back and rump, creating an uncanny resemblance to a dog or wolf. Sporting upright ears, a sizable snout, and a slender tail reminiscent of a rat, this marsupial boasted remarkable dimensions, with a tail spanning 20 to 26 inches and an impressive length of 39 to 15 one inches making it the largest carnivorous marsupial in recent memory. Clocking in at a weight ranging from 33 to 66 pounds, the Tasmanian tiger was an imposing presence in its habitat. As a marsupial, the Tasmanian tiger carried its young in a distinctive backward opening pouch, accommodating two to four offspring at a time. Thriving in Tasmania and Australia until the 20th century, its extinction unfolded due to a complex interplay of factors, sickness, habitat loss, competition with other fauna, human interference, and population fragmentation. European settlers viewed the Tasmanian tiger as a nuisance and a threat to their livestock, offering rewards for their eradication. The final documented specimen ended in captivity at a zoo in 1936. Despite the official declaration of the Tasmanian tiger's extinction, a sense of mystery persists, fueled by numerous recent sightings, over the years, reports have surfaced primarily in Tasmania, the Australian mainland, and even New Zealand. Although scientists have conclusively verified none, photographs and films have supported some sightings. The enduring allure of the Tasmanian tiger, 
continues to captivate imaginations, leaving room for speculation about its potential survival in the wild. Number 13. Barbary Lions Despite being regarded as the kings of the forest, lions find themselves perilously close to extinction, with one of the most iconic subspecies, the Barbary Lion, facing a tragic demise. This majestic lion once roamed North Africa from Morocco to Egypt, and earned its name from the impressive long, dark mane covering its belly and chest. Existing in pride, the Barbary lion was a social and formidable predator known for hunting large game such as camels, wild boars, and gazelles. Unfortunately, human actions, particularly habitat degradation and hunting, bear the responsibility for the extinction of the Barbary lion. While the lion is revered in many cultures as a symbol of bravery and nobility, it also poses a perceived threat to human safety and livestock. Remarkably, these lions were not only confined to the wild, they found themselves engaged in gladiatorial combat in the Colosseum and briefly residing in the Tower of London. However, the fame of these lions became a double-edged sword, contributing to their decline. The extinction process was initiated during the Roman Empire, when gladiatorial combat claimed thousands of lives. Subsequently, the Arab Empire forced the remaining animals out of their natural habitat, and European colonists in the 19th century exacerbated the situation by hunting these majestic creatures. As a result of habitat loss caused by desertification, human settlement, and agricultural expansion, the Barbary lion population plummeted from over 100,000 in the 19th century to less than 1,000 in the early 20th century. Despite occasional dubious sightings in Morocco and Algeria as late as 1950 and 1960, the last confirmed sighting occurred in Morocco in 1942. The final blow came in 1959 when the last Barbary lion in captivity died in a zoo. While Barbary lions may have influenced the genetic purity of confined lions in zoos and circuses, this remains uncertain. The extinction of the Barbary lion is a significant biodiversity loss serving as a poignant reminder and a warning to other endangered species. It underscores the need for increased public awareness, international cooperation, and more effective conservation efforts. Among the eight subspecies of lions, the Barbary lion stands alone, facing threats from poaching, habitat degradation, and human-wildlife conflict, highlighting the urgent need for collective action to ensure the survival of these magnificent creatures. Number 12 the Western Black Rhino. In the early 20th century, the vast African savanna echoed with the majestic presence of approximately one million black rhinoceroses, representing four distinct subspecies. Fast forward to recent times, and the number has dwindled to 2,300 individuals spread across three subspecies. One of these subspecies, the Western Black Rhinoceros, embarked on a tumultuous journey ultimately succumbing to the relentless forces of greed, indifference, and unforeseen challenges. Despite having thrived in these regions for millennia, the Western Black Rhino found itself incompatible with the rapid changes of the 20th century. The century opened with widespread sport hunting, a phenomenon that decimated rhino populations in its early decades. As industrial agriculture advanced, it further cleared vast expanses of the rhino's former habitats for fields and settlements. Large herbivores like rhinos were deemed pests by farmers and ranchers, prompting lethal measures to protect crops. The turning point for the western black rhino came in the early 1950s, propelled by Chairman Mao's promotion of traditional Chinese medicine as a unifying force for the newly acquired nation. Despite Mao's skepticism towards TCM, Powdered rhino horn gained prominence as a remedy for many ailments. This sparked a surge in poaching from 1960 to 1995, resulting in the tragic loss of up to 98% of black rhinos. The demand was fueled by Chinese medicine and the Middle East, which sought rhino horns for ceremonial knife handles. Amidst this relentless onslaught, the western black rhino bore the brunt of the harm due to decades of overhunting. By the 1980s, their distribution had dwindled to just two nations, Cameroon, with 110 individuals, and Chad, with 25. The Western blacks faced extermination within a decade. Although Cameroon held on slightly longer, 
the population dwindled from 50 in 1991 to 10 by 1997. This once magnificent species was on the verge of obliteration. The tragic disappearance of the western black rhinoceros is a stark reminder of the imperative to shield endangered species from human greed and ignorance. It underscores the critical necessity to preserve biodiversity, acknowledging that each species, no matter how resilient, is vulnerable to the intricate dance between human actions and the delicate balance of nature. Number 11. Caspian Tiger From the vast landscapes of Turkey to the remote territories of China, the Caspian Tiger, a distinct subspecies, once roamed the expansive Central Asian region. With its striking dark stripes and dense, regal fur mane, this majestic creature stands as one of the largest and most formidable tigers. This carnivorous giant made its home near rivers and lakes, thriving in lush, forested areas and reed-covered environments. Its hunting prowess was unparalleled, preying on colossal game such as deer, boars, and camels. However, the tragic tale of the Caspian tiger unfolds against the backdrop of human activities that led to its extinction. The culprits? Habitat degradation and rampant poaching. Local communities and European colonists viewed these magnificent creatures as both a threat and a coveted prize, resulting in the slaughter of tigers for amusement, bounties, and livestock protection. It wasn't until the 1930s that legal protection was extended to the Caspian tiger, but the damage had already been done by then. The former Soviet Union supported its decline rather than preserving the species. Human settlements, ambitious irrigation projects, and rapid agricultural expansion further contributed to the degradation of the tiger's habitat. The population, once thriving with over 100,000 individuals in the 19th century, plummeted to fewer than a thousand by the mid-20th century. The last documented instance of a wild Caspian tiger being killed occurred in Turkey in 1970, marking a poignant moment in the species' decline. Although unconfirmed sightings persisted in Iran and Afghanistan until the 1990s, the undeniable reality struck in 1997 when the sole remaining captive Caspian tiger succumbed at a zoo. Caspian tiger DNA may have tainted the genetic legacy of these tigers in captivity. The extinction of the Caspian tiger is not just a biodiversity loss. It stands as a stark warning to other endangered species. This narrative underscores the need for heightened public awareness, international cooperation, and more effective conservation initiatives. In a world where nine tiger subspecies exist, each facing threats such as poaching, habitat loss, and human-wildlife conflicts, the plight of the Caspian tiger serves as a poignant reminder of our collective responsibility to protect these majestic creatures from a similar fate. Number 10. The Quagga In the expansive grasslands of South Africa, the quagga, a unique subspecies of the common zebra, thrived until the late 19th century. Its striking appearance, characterized by stripes adorning only the front half of its body, and a horse-like brown back set it apart. The quagga's distinct call, reminiscent of quaha or quahaha, bestowed upon it a name as unique as its features. First described by a Dutch scientist in 1785, using a specimen provided by Robert Jacob Gordon, a daring Dutch explorer and military commander, the quagga became a subject of fascination. The quagga was a grazer that roamed the grasslands and shrublands of the Eastern Cape Province and the Orange Free State, feasting on grasses and herbs. Forming herds led by powerful stallions, these animals, numbering up to 50, showcased the quagga's social and communal nature. The quagga's ability to interbreed successfully with other zebra subspecies, horses and donkeys, resulted in robust hybrids. Despite having few natural predators, the quagga occasionally faced threats from lions, leopards, hyenas, and wild dogs. However, the primary driver of its eventual disappearance was human activity. Treasured for its flesh and hide, the quagga became a target for hunters, particularly farmers and settlers who viewed it as competition for grazing lands. European colonists, driven by a blend of entertainment and curiosity, engaged in hunting the quagga. The skins and skeletons of these animals found their way into zoos and museums, 
marking the zenith of the quagga's exploitation during the 19th century. The relentless hunting pressure and habitat destruction led to a sharp decline in the quagga population. The poignant end came in the late 1870s when the last quagga in the wild fell to a hunter's shot. The final chapter unfolded in August 1883 when the last captive quagga breathed at the Amsterdam Zoo. The quagga's story is a testament to the intricate interplay between human actions and the delicate balance of ecosystems, underscoring the importance of conservation in safeguarding our planet's unique and irreplaceable species. Number 9. The Flightless Laysan Rail The Flightless Laysan Rail, affectionately known as the Laysan Creeper, held a special place on the remote island of Laysan in northwest Hawaii. Picture a petite bird measuring just 15 centimeters, adorned with brown and black plumage, accented by white streaks and patches. It boasted long legs, a tail, short wings, and a straight bill, a unique blend of features that set it apart. This herbivorous marvel dined on a varied menu of seeds, fruits, insects, and snails, displaying its adaptability in the face of challenges. In its sociable nature, the Laysan rail thrived in small groups or pairs, adding a touch of camaraderie to the island's unique ecosystem. Unfortunately, its existence took a tragic turn due to habitat degradation triggered by domestic rabbits and the upheavals of World War II. The story of the Laysan rail unfolds on Laysan, a tiny island teeming with endemic species and playing a vital role as a seabird colony. The arrival of guano miners in 1909 brought rabbits, unwittingly setting off a chain reaction. The rabbits, prolific breeders, devoured the island's flora, transforming it into a desolate landscape. Stripped of its food and shelter, the Laysan rail became vulnerable to predators and storms. The island's fate took another unfortunate twist during World War II, as Midway Atoll, the rail's refuge, turned into a military installation. Dogs, cats, rodents, and human activity wreaked havoc, leading to the demise of these remarkable birds. The last Laysan rail on Midway was sighted in June 1944, marking the end of an era. In 2003, the formal declaration of the species as extinct resonated as a somber reminder of biodiversity's fragility. The Laysan rail's tragic fate echoed a warning to other vulnerable species, emphasizing the urgent need for increased public awareness, international cooperation, and more effective conservation efforts. Alongside the Laysan miller bird and honeycreeper, the Laysan rail joined the ranks of endemic birds driven to extinction by the unchecked rabbit population, a poignant lesson for the ongoing quest to preserve Earth's diverse ecosystems. Number 8. The Passenger Pigeon The tragic tale of the passenger pigeon unfolds as a striking example of the intricate dance between human pursuits and the delicate balance of nature. As European settlers stepped onto the shores of the United States, they encountered a spectacle of avian abundance, with the passenger pigeon claiming a staggering 25 to 40 percent of the country's bird population, equating to a mind-boggling 3 to 5 billion individuals. These birds weren't just statistics, but were woven into the fabric of early settlers' literature and travelers' tales. Imagine the skies once painted by the breathtaking migratory flights of these passenger pigeons. Witnesses marveled as the massive flocks darkened the heavens, embarking on flights that spanned several days from dawn to dusk. The sheer spectacle left an indelible mark on the observers. However, the story turns somber as we fast forward to the early 1990s when the passenger pigeons vanished from the scene. The downfall commenced in the 19th century, with professional hunters employing nets and eventually resorting to shooting these magnificent birds for lucrative city markets. This, unsurprisingly, took a toll on their once abundant population. The real tragedy unfolded between 1870 and 1890, a sharp decline fueled by habitat degradation and relentless hunting. In 1878 alone, an estimated 136 million birds met their demise in Wisconsin during the final large nesting. Despite the growing awareness of their dwindling numbers, conservationists found themselves powerless. The passenger pigeon, which once graced the skies in abundance, had disappeared by the early 1890s. 
The American Ornithologist Union's offer of $1,500 for information on a passenger pigeon nest or nesting colony between 1909 and 1912 remained unanswered. The final curtain fell on this once thriving species with the passing of Martha, the last known member of the passenger pigeon, in 1914 at the Cincinnati Zoological Garden. The echoes of their disappearance continue reverberating, underscoring the intricate relationship between human actions and the fragility of our natural world. Number 7. Pinta Giant Tortoise Lonesome George is a male Pinta Island tortoise who is the charismatic and solitary last known member of his subspecies. Often hailed as one of the rarest creatures on Earth, George became a symbol of the Galapagos Islands' unique ecosystem and global conservation endeavors. His story begins in 1971 when a keen-eyed Hungarian scientist, diligently observing the Galapagos National Park, stumbles upon George's existence on Pinta Island. The island, ravaged by feral goats introduced by miners, had suffered the loss of its tortoise population, making George's discovery a groundbreaking revelation that defied belief in the extinction of Pinta Island tortoises. Promptly relocated to the Charles Darwin Research Station on Santa Cruz Island for security, George's arrival sparked hope that he might be crucial in saving his subspecies from extinction. The ambitious plan involved finding a female Pinta tortoise on the island, or in global zoos, to mate with George and revive their dwindling population. No other Pinta Island tortoises were located despite exhaustive searches and genetic analyses. George's romantic encounters with two females from a neighboring island, sharing a closely related subspecies, sadly bore no fruit. The trio could not produce healthy offspring, intensifying the race against time to preserve George's lineage. Tragically, Lonesome George met his end in his corral on June 24, 2012, shocking caretakers and scientists. Autopsy results later attributed his demise to natural causes, surprising many due to his relative youth. George's specific subspecies of giant tortoises typically boast a lifespan of 200 years, making his early departure all the more poignant. With Lonesome George's passing, the Pinta Island tortoise bid farewell to existence, marking another loss in the delicate tapestry of our planet's biodiversity. His legacy is a testament to the challenges faced by endangered species and our collective responsibility to protect and preserve Earth's unique inhabitants. Number 6. The Bubal Hartebeest The Bubal Hartebeest, also known as the Northern Hartebeest or Bubal Antelope, once roamed the vast landscapes of North Africa, stretching from Morocco to Egypt. This majestic creature, belonging to one of the eight Hartebeest subspecies, was a sight with its huge frame, long face, short neck, and gracefully curved horns. Its sandy brown coat, adorned with intricate black or white patterns on the legs and face, added to its unique allure. Tragically, the demise of the Bubal Hartebeest can be traced back to human activities, particularly habitat degradation and hunting. Beyond being perceived as a threat to human safety and livestock, this extraordinary antelope held a special place in the hearts of many civilizations, symbolizing bravery and nobility. Local and European colonists were drawn to it, hunting it for sport, prized trophies, and lucrative bounties. The decline of the Bubal, Hartebeest's population tells a story of habitat loss due to human settlements, desertification, and rapid agricultural expansion. The numbers plummeted dramatically, from over 100,000 in the 19th century to less than 1,000 in the early 20th century. Although sporadic and unverified sightings persisted until the 1960s in Morocco and Tunisia, the last confirmed capture occurred in Algeria in 1954. The final captive specimen met its end in a zoo in 1923. In 1994, the International Union for Conservation of Nature officially declared the Bubal Hartebeest extinct, marking the end of an era for this once majestic subspecies. Hey there! Brace yourselves for today's subscriber's pick. We're delving into the wild world of cryptids, where cowboys turned monster hunters took on a colossal winged creature in 1890. Picture this, a bird with a wingspan rivaling today's commercial jets. The tale unfolds with two brave gunmen who rode into town empty-handed after an epic showdown with this mythical bird. Sure, it's a bit like a cowboy blockbuster, 
But there are conflicting versions. Some say the bird had kidnapped a man. And guess what? People swear they've seen a photo, but no one can produce it. Oh, and about that pterodactyl picture. In the 19th century, faking photos was all the rage, and pterodactyls went extinct millions of years ago. So what's your take? Was it a genuine encounter with a colossal creature or another Wild West tall tale? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's dive into this epic saga together. Number 5. The Spix's Macaw Behold the magnificent Spix's Macaw, a bird adorned with a regal gray head and resplendent blue plumage that once graced the vibrant landscapes of Brazil. However, its presence is now a tale of tragedy and hope. In the year 2000, the Spix's macaw faced extinction in the wild, succumbing to the relentless forces of habitat destruction, poaching, and illegal trading. Some individuals, captivated by the allure of having this unique bird as a pet, played a detrimental role in capturing or harming the last remaining wild members. Currently, a mere 166 Spix's macaws exist worldwide and reside in captivity, a stark reminder of the fragile state of biodiversity. Yet amid this somber reality, a beacon of hope emerges. Committed environmentalists have embarked on a commendable mission to bolster the Spix's macaw population. Their goal is nothing short of a triumphant return to the bird's native environment. In a remarkable display of dedication, these environmental stewards successfully released a cohort of these captivating birds in June 2022 with ambitious plans for more releases in the future. In the vast expanse of Brazil's sky, the Spix's macaw will once again spread its wings, symbolizing a return to its natural habitat and a resounding victory for preserving biodiversity. The saga of the Spix's macaw serves as a testament to the unwavering spirit of those committed to restoring balance and beauty to our shared natural world. Number 4. The Pyrenean Ibex, which had the dubious honor of going extinct twice. The Pyrenean Ibex, also known as the Bucardo, was a unique subspecies of the Iberian Ibex, inhabiting the Pyrenees Mountains of France and Spain. As a wild goat, with long horns and a beard, it belonged to the four subspecies of the Iberian Ibex. Sporting a brown coat with dark stripes on its legs and a whitish belly, this herbivore thrived in groups of 10 to 20 individuals. Unfortunately, habitat loss and hunting drove the Pyrenean Ibex to extinction. Locals considered it a trophy and a nuisance, leading to hunting for meat, leather, and horns. Deforestation, human intervention and agricultural expansion further contributed to the loss of its habitat. From the 1800 to the 1990s, the ibex population plummeted from around 50,000 to less than 100. The last Pyrenean ibex, Celia, died in captivity in 1999, marking the end of the subspecies. However, researchers attempted to revive the Pyrenean ibex in 2003 by cloning Celia's frozen tissues, while they successfully created a live clone using domestic goats as surrogate mothers, the cloned ibex succumbed to a lung abnormality shortly after birth. This groundbreaking effort marked the first cloning of an extinct animal and, unfortunately, the first instance of the revived animal becoming extinct once again. Number 3. The Zanzibar Leopard since the end of the last ice age, Zanzibar leopards on Unguja Island have evolved independently due to the island's separation caused by rising sea levels. As the largest predators on the island, they adapted by shrinking in size and developing distinctive patches. However, their unique existence took a dark turn due to superstitions. Locals believed witches kept leopards as pets, employing them for nefarious plans against common people. Despite the absence of actual witches, the inhabitants chose to protect themselves from the very real Zanzibar leopards. In 1964, a coordinated campaign against witchcraft, led by a witch hunter, contributed to the predator's elimination near settlements, leading to the extinction of Zanzibar leopards by the mid-1990s. While there were reports of leopard droppings in 1997 and 2001, they disappeared before examination. In 2018, a camera trap captured an image resembling a leopard, but its poor quality suggests it's likely an African wild leopard transported to the island by humans. Number 2. The Splendid Poison Frog Despite its deadly and venomous nature, 
The splendid poison frog is a fascinating creature with the potential to avoid extinction. This vibrant and lethal amphibian, formerly known as the magnificent poison frog, once thrived in the lush western forests of Panama. Belonging to the family of poison dart frogs, distinguished by their potent skin secretions and vivid warning colors, the magnificent poison frog boasted a captivating red belly and a yellowish-brown color adorned with striking black spots. Its daily activities likely involved the consumption of insects and other small invertebrates. The eastern edge of the mountain range connecting Panama and Costa Rica was once teeming with a significant population of magnificent poison frogs. This species favors open habitats in humid lowlands and montane forests, strategically positioning itself near streams and ponds. However, the magnificent poison frog encountered numerous threats, ultimately leading to its demise. The primary concern revolved around the loss and deterioration of its habitat, a consequence of logging, agriculture, urbanization, and infrastructure development. These activities significantly impacted the frogs by reducing their access to cover, compromising water quality, and increasing their vulnerability to illness and predators. Additionally, the magnificent poison frog faced the peril of hunting and capture for the pet trade, as its distinctiveness and beauty made it highly prized. Influenced by superstitions, some villagers also contributed to the decline by perceiving these frogs as harmful or unlucky. In the intricate web of challenges, the story of the splendid poison frog unfolds as a compelling narrative of survival in the face of various threats, emphasizing the delicate balance between human activities and preserving biodiversity. Number 1. Caribbean Monk Seal The Caribbean Monk Seal, also known as the West Indian Seal or the Sea Wolf, was a unique species native to the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. With its distinctive reddish-brown fur and powerful eyes, it thrived in the warm, tropical waters, preying on fish, lobster, crab, and squid. The first encounter with Europeans occurred in 1494, when Christopher Columbus and his crew visited an island south of the Dominican Republic, marking the sea wolf's introduction to European eyes. Unfortunately, this seal fell victim to overhunting by humans, who sought its meat, oil, and skin. Plantation owners and scientists contributed to a significant population decline between the 17th and 19th centuries. Beyond hunting, habitat degradation ensued due to human activities like pollution, overfishing, coastal development, and boat traffic. These factors disrupted the seal's ability to find food and disturbed their resting and breeding grounds. The last observed sighting of the Caribbean monk seal was between Jamaica and Nicaragua in 1952 leading the United States National Marine Fisheries Service to declare the species extinct. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.